Hello Computer Arts, my name is Arthur Carey and I'm a recent graduate from Graphic Design at Leeds College of Art. I'm going to guide you through the best method for creating animated GIFs for hosting on your blog or website. I'm going to be using two bits of software, Adobe Creative Suite, CS5, Photoshop and Bridge. First up, to make your GIF you need to decide what images you want to use uh, and you need to resize them all and locate them and save them in the same location. So today for my GIF uh, I've been saving images at 460 pixels wide. So I'll just change this last image You'll notice the resolution is at 72 pixels per inch. This is the best for online screen based. So we save that. And then I'm going to save it in the same location as the other images. Give it a new file name. Then you want to close any of those images. Uh, the next step in the Photoshop toolbar, click Browse in Bridge. This will show you the folders on your computer. We saved ours on the desktop here and here. This is the images inside that folder which I'm going to animate. So if you click one and then hold shift and select all the images then you need to click on tools go down to the Photoshop option and load files into Photoshop layers this allows them all to load as different layers in the same Photoshop document just hide bridge So what that will leave you with is this. Next up in Photoshop you need to change the workspace to motion from whatever you have it on before. And you'll notice the animation timeline box um, and you want to click on the drop down menu and scroll down. and make frames from layers so this will create a single frame from each of the layers we've just imported then you want to go here and hover over here it says convert convert to frame animation and click that as you'll see now we have eight frames for the eight layers that we imported at this stage you can reorder by dragging the animation so you can check, that's the first frame, second frame, third frame. You can also change the duration of each frame within the sequence. So if I change this to five seconds, and you can select multiple frames here. So you can change all of these to one second. So you can change duration, you can switch the order around and then you can choose down here the option for how much repeating you want so if you want the GIF to loop forever you can change it there and then you've got the tools here to preview your animation so we can test ours out so as you notice there's a long pause on the first image and then cycling through the other images and then goes back to a long pause. So that seems to be working okay. And then when you're happy with that, you happy with the preview, you want to save for web and devices if you're hosting online. So that's here. Um, and this dialog box will appear. And the options you'll have here, um, you'll notice it's set on GIF. 
Um, and the more colours you include um, in your GIF, the longer the loading time. So with my uh, GIF here, I want quite a few colours, a photographic, but if you had vector-based work, you could often lower the colours right down to only a few, which will make it even faster loading time. And then you want to click, if you're happy with that, so you'll check here the width in pixels. That's what we specified when we resized all our images. And you want to click save. If at this stage you've had any issues with slow loading, um, it'll be to do with step one where you need to check that you've resized all your images and they're 72 dpi to the desired size of your GIF when you finish. So we click save here. Choose a location, just save it on the desktop and call it Photo Book. And we can save that. And then, if you want to see this in action, just hide Photoshop. I can show you on my website. I found it very useful as a way of showing projects without having to have separate pages. And that's it. Thanks, guys.